There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. It's your girl April and I am back to do a wig tutorial. This is actually the very first wig that I've ever gotten from AliExpress. Now normally I get bundles of hair and I do buy other little things like little trinkets. Um, they have like the best stuff for like your household. Of course it may take a minute for like the other items that are not hair related to get to you. But the prices are so inexpensive and they're well worth the wait. So with this being said, or with that being said, this is actually my first unit ever from AliExpress already made. It's a lace front with a silk closure, a 4x4 silk lace base closure, and it is the Italian Yaki texture. So it is in 18 inches and this is by Queen Beauty, um, is the name of the AliExpress store. I will post their information for you guys below. Free item, which was actually a styling comb and a wig cap and some some extra tape in case you want to go ahead and tape it down so like I said it did come in 18 inches and it is the color 1b um, I actually went ahead and parted it last the night of the part is basically or the silk is kind of like a flesh tone it's probably for the lighter color complexion but you can always fix that with some concealer which I've actually done on my uh, wig that I actually created because the part was actually too light. The silk beige closure was way too light. It does have the two combs on the temple sides, which is excellent. And it does have the comb kind of like further back in the middle, which I never use because these combs seem like they give you like a huge issue to place. Um, so I don't really use them. The adjustable strap in the back and of course the lace right here. Now it does say that it is yakky. It has like the crimps in it. It really reminds me of kind of like a silk texture or semi-silk with like the crimps in it. I'm not really sure how this would work once you put heat to it but we will see today if it's going to stay like that yakky texture but it does give that yakky texture appearance so for those of you guys who are looking for a yakky texture unit then you can probably check this one out it does have perimeter or baby hairs or hair wispies around the perimeter of the front and back so which means you can always put this up in an updo if you choose to now the lace is or the uh, silk base closure is right here it does say it is a lace front which means that you cannot um, part it throughout the entire cap. The tracks are sewn on the outer portion just as you would make like your regular custom closure wig. So this is what it reminds me of a lot of except for there's lace on the front that I'd have to cut off. So let's get this tutorial started ladies. So I went ahead and took off my turban and I'm going to go ahead and throw this wig on. It is really a nice wig. Um, it does have a snug fit. I have some anchor braids on the side of my head which I added some extension hair in just so my own hair wouldn't be pulled and it also just holds the wig a lot better. So I do do that with my own hair especially where I'm going to be using wig combs at. I put an anchor braid. So I already have my camouflage concealer palette out on hand on standby so I'm going to take a little bit of that concealer because of course the lace is not the exact color of my own scalp so I'm going to hook it up and I'm also going to hook up my hairline with my keratin or my topic hair filler fibers ladies I love this stuff like for real it is a must have but let's talk about the wig on some on a serious note this wig is really really a nice unit I never really thought that AliExpress or AliExpress would have some bomb wigs but this is a really good grade of hair and I love the style of it Okay, love, so I went ahead. I did use a little concealer on the front part of the actual closure because that tiny little piece that's probably like a quarter of an inch is actually lace, which is supposed to make it appear more natural. So therefore, it didn't blend in with the rest of my scalp or the lace or the silk base closure. So I did use some of my concealer for that just to make it blend in more. So you really don't need anything. I was honestly getting prepared to put it on the inner side of the entire cap where I would part it, but then I had to remind myself, yes, I'm about that silk face closure life right about now but I will tell you this the wig did go on really easy it is a snug fit depending on where you put your adjustable straps at in it and it's 18 inches so for those of you who don't like it too long I do like long hair and then I like it short I do like it about here as well it is lightweight so the density of it is decent because of the texture you don't need a lot unless you want it to be really really big and full and poofy but if you want something with more density or if you want it to be in a full lace wig 
You can always contact the AliExpress or AliExpress vendor, Beauty Queen, because they do customize in making them actual full lace wigs for those of you who want a full lace. But I'm fine with a lace front because I really don't part them anywhere unless I'm going to do braids, and I'm still kind of good with just the lace front. So now for the portion of, or the part where, are we going to put some heat to this unit? I do want to put some heat to this because I want to see if the texture changes, but I do like the crinkles in it. It does give that natural blown dry hair appearance. The decent length that it gives, it really looks like realistic hair, um, opposed to it being too big and too full. But I decided I would go ahead and plug in my Sapphire Collection um, wand collection, which is by Irresistible Me. I actually love this 8-in-1 wand set, and I've been using it religiously. It does come with like this cute little pouch which has all your gadgets and curling wands. So there are actually eight different sizes. So you can receive 10% off of that and I'll put the link below for you guys. And you guys know I have just started rocking like the actual middle part. I don't do middle parts but I already had one already placed in my own natural hair. So that is the reason why I went and put this in a middle part. But for the most part the middle part looks really good. It's really believable and actually blendable. In case you guys are wondering what I used on my actual hair, this is the Topic Keratin Hair Filler Fibers. I love this stuff, ladies. I absolutely love this. Guys even use this in their bearding so that they can have like a fuller looking beard as well as on their hair. So you don't really have to be balding or have thin hair, but you can use it just for cosmetic reasons. You can pick this up at like Target, online Target only, or you can also get it from Sally's. I do highly suggest getting the nozzle, the spray nozzle. They don't come with that. They actually just come without. So these are sold separately, but you can buy the entire kit at like Sally's and Target online. They do. Okay, you guys already know I do not like curling hair. I am not like a huge fan of curling any type of hair, but I thought I would give this one a try because I wanted to see if the curl pattern or the hair texture changed. So I decided to use my new favorite eight in one wand set by Irresistible Me, which is their Sapphire Wand Collection set. I love this wand and it really does heat up fast, goes to like 450 degrees in like a matter of seconds. And being that this hair is kind of thick and crinkly and Afro-American texture, I said this is the best product to use on it because I was about to take the cheapy cheap from um, Walmart, the Conair, and try it on this hair. However, that would have never worked, so I'm glad I did take this out. But yeah, the hair is curling really, really easy and fast. I'm just not one for curling any type of hair. I'm like over the whole hair curling thing so you do see me here taking like big sections and yeah I did kind of burn my fingers so I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side you guys know the jest let's check out the finished look okay love so there you have it curled really easy with this hair um you can pick this up at irresistible me I'll post a link for that below but the hair is actually nice the texture did not change it's still like that Italian yakki if that's what they want to call it it still has that light yakki texture with the ripples in it which really resemble African African American woman hair um, relaxed hair of course now I will tell you I am not the best at curling no daggone hair this side always looks fabulous and this side looks like can we get like this side <laughs> like really I can never get this side to act like the other side I'm not really sure I think it's because I'm a right-hand person so it's easier for me to gravitate more to my left side when doing my hair so I've always had an issue with the actual results on this particular side of my head um, and I hate that I hate it but it's <laughs> on Aliexpress or Aliexpress like I said this is my first initial review for any full wig um like it's and it's a lace front the hair is actually pretty um and they're really inexpensive on Aliexpress you know the hair always comes a lot quicker than any other item on Aliexpress I've noticed and that's good because I feel like if we order hair we need it ASAP okay like yesterday or the day that we ordered it but anyway other than that I will post all the information for Queen Beauty's Aliexpress store for you guys below and like I said if you want it in a full lace wig you can go ahead and contact the vendor but for this this is a lace front light Italian yakki or Italian yakki and it's in 18 inches in the color 1B, it's suitable. It's The price is really reasonable, and for the price of this actual unit, you can probably get two of them for the price you'd pay on, from another site, which would be probably for one wig, you can probably get two from AliExpress. But yeah, so on that note, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, stay diva and divalicious. Let me know what you think of this one here, and as always, I'll speak to you guys on my next video.